Are you an investor looking for premium market opportunities? Presenting premium and exclusive service for investors by Calkine. The spooky season is here and Halloween is right around the corner. But for investors out there, have you heard of the Halloween strategy? Also known as the Halloween effect or Halloween indicator, the Halloween strategy is a market timing strategy established using a hypothesis that the performance of stocks between October 31 and the 1st of May is better compared to the period between the beginning of May and the end of October. According to this strategy, investing in other assets from May to November is advisable buying stocks in November and selling them in April after holding them through the winter months. Several investors following this strategy suggest that there should be no investments made in stocks during the summer months. In contrast with the buy and hold strategy, in which the stocks can be sold in down months and long-term investments can be made, the investors can time the market using the Halloween strategy. Now, the results of this strategy are inconsistent with the proposition of the efficient markets hypothesis and that of the stocks behaving in an entirely unexpected way. Many believe the Halloween strategy originated in the UK as the privileged class would abandon their stocks every year in May as they headed away from London towards their country estates for the summer. And as these investors will return in September, their investment portfolios were usually ignored until then. Those who endorse this concept would potentially anticipate that it would be customary for the investment community, which includes brokers, traders, equity analysts and others, to leave their metropolitan financial centres during the summer months. However, a paper was published by the American Economic Review by Sven Bauman and Ben Jacobson in December 2002 that particularly tracked the stock performance from November to April to understand the functioning of the Halloween indicator. And according to the report, theoretically, an investor was likely to earn a high annual return by entirely investing for the six months and not participating in the market for the rest of the six months, compared to those who supported all year round. There's ample evidence out there available regarding the worthiness of the Halloween strategy. According to historical records of stock returns, the Halloween strategy's premise has been proved right for the most part of the last half century. The investors, from November to April, have been able to achieve higher capital gains as compared to the rest of the months. And if the strategy is used over five years, there's a chance of over 80% getting higher returns than the average market returns by selling the stocks in May. And in the case of 10 years, the percentage of successfully beating the market goes up to over 90%. The seasonal anomaly of the Halloween strategy is still not completely understood well and the reason behind its functioning remains inconclusive. Several market analysts believe that the liquidity of the market is not influenced by the so-called summer vacation of investment professionals and investors' risk aversion may somewhat influence it during the summer months, which may in turn lead to variation in seasonal returns. Now that you're up to speed, hit that bell icon and subscribe to stay up to date and boost your financial IQ. I'm Holly Shields for Kalkine Media.